Yo, what's going on, my beautiful people? So we are here live and direct. Hey, so far, the day has been good. Look at this. $700 made today, eight trades, all right? I actually need to make, on my compound plan, I need to be at 61.52, so I wanted to place the last couple of trades with y'all. Uh, and then possibly try to call some signals from my group at the same time, you feel me? So I'm just going to look around, you know what I'm saying, these charts. But we had a great call this morning. If you are not live trading with us, you should. Click the link below, get started. You know what I'm saying? So you could live trade with your boy. You know what I'm saying? We all get this paper together. Now, granted, every day ain't going to be profitable, but for the most part, we try to make sure the week is profitable. You know what I'm saying? For the most part. All right? But <clears throat> just looking at these pairs, uh, I'm going to move this up and change this white because it's an M1 zone, you know? Keep my M1 zones white. And I just look around to see, you know, what we can do. All right, so this particular pair not really looking like what I want. I'm going to go to AUD CAD. Okay. Looking decent. Based off what this one is already doing, these candles stick close to this Keltner channel. So any move in between here and here, I believe is a good one-minute trade. Uh, if it drops that low, but right now it's starting to like it's pushing back up. <clears throat> One thing I want y'all to know is that uh the middle of this Keltner channel, 20 moving average, all right? So the candles usually can't come too far away from it before they have to come back and at least get close to it. Uh, so always keep that in mind. And also it does act as a support, you know, in resistance area depending on where the candles are. But uh, as you can see, they come down close to it, reject from it. Sometimes they reject right off of it. Uh, and anytime you get a close below or above, then usually the 20 carries the candle. So best rule of thumb is if you're on an uptrend based off this 200 moving average, if the market is already going up, uh, the candle, as soon as they close above this, the middle of this Keltner, you're pretty much good to, to take them trades, right? Uh, the best place to get in, of course, on an uptrend is on a pullback. You buy low, ride it up, all right? So, uh, I think I, I think this may be a trade that I call in a group. And so, what I want to do is just mark me a little zone here because <clears throat> we're already, as you can hear in my voice, I've been under the weather. So, be praying for you, boy, you know what I'm saying? Been, been under the weather a little bit. But we should be shooting down somewhere close to this zone. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and post in here. AUD CAD buy is coming. Close to the middle of the Keltner. Oh, I spelled that wrong. Channel. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's how I do it. Boom. Send that off. And it looks like it's already starting. So, I'm going to wait to see if it continues, and then I'm going to get in. Yeah, so I see it's already starting to make its move. I'm going to do about four of those. Four of those for one minute. Um, I don't know exactly how far it's trying to shoot, but so far, looking good. M5 or the M15, I just need to find another zone that's close so I can kind of see where it's headed to. Oh, okay, I see it. Well, we already passed that. This was a zone right here. We already passed that though. So we might be good to hold for another 20 seconds. We in there and this money in the bank. All right. Yeah, this is looking good. As long as we don't get no crazy drop right now, I think we're good. We're solid. Five, four, three, two. Get my money. Come on now. Run it. And boom. We are there. Easy money. Stop playing with me. We really do this. And 652. Cool. I'm cool. I'm not having the $2. But that's good. And matter of fact, it's been such a profitable day. I don't know if they caught that late. Probably caught it too late, man. It's been, it's been such a profitable day. 
that uh somebody replied. Let's see. Caught it. Somebody caught it. That's good. That's what we like to see. We got three likes. Some more people probably caught it, but they just ain't commenting yet. But look at it. Still going. All right. Such a profitable day. Did we already update? Yes, indeed. $1,000 made today. 12 trades. This is what we do. All right. God is good. I don't take no credit. <clears throat> he reveals thanks to your boy. You know what I'm saying? So this is what I've been noticing, y'all. This right here extremely powerful all right now we're getting outside the keltner channel so it's a zone above here i just haven't found it yet so we will get another pullback potentially at the top of this keltner or somewhere in here again to potentially go back up but the moment we drop below here and we start coming down here then you know you already know what that means we headed back down but as long as these candles don't cross this 20, I mean, not the 20, the 200, as long as they don't cross that, we good to still keep going up. So that's how you read your charts, baby. That's how you read the charts, man. What a great day. I don't think I took a single L. I don't think I did. Let me see. Nope. I didn't take one L today, y'all. Hold on. Let's go back. Let's go back and take a peek. Not one L. I took one broke e one break even. That's it. One break even, and that's it. Five hundred fifty dollar trade there, four hundred dollar trade there, and we smacked the markets over the head. All right. So I'm done for the day now, but don't mean I can't still help y'all get to this paper. You feel me? Matter of fact, I didn't even get to do what I needed to do. Let me post this proof in here so I can let them know. You see, I had to post the proof in there. Let them know. Let them know what time it was. You know what I'm saying? So, but yeah, that is a great trading day, man. I got to look at that one more time. Look at that, man. Just, just beautiful. 12 trades, no losses at all. That's just a beautiful day. Now, uh, <clears throat> I'm looking at pairs like this. They're a little wonky. But one thing to note on this particular pair is that they are above, they are below the 200, right? They're all these candles, they're below it, okay? So since they are below, we know the sales is coming. The best place to get in on the downtrend is on a pullback. Wait till the market pullbacks, hop in on the sale, ride it down, all right? You want to be more confident in your entries? Wait till the candles close below this middle of the Keltner. When they close below here, and you're good to keep pushing down. You know what I'm saying? That's good. Um, you could do that on multiple pairs. All right, so let me go to uh, Eurocad. Mm, nah, I'm going to go to some way back here. Let's go to EuroGBP. <clears throat> okay, perfect. Perfect example of what I want to show y'all. So check this out. This is an uptrend by default, right? It's an uptrend. Why? The candles are above this 200. All these candles are above it, so we know we're looking for buys. Best place to get in is what? A pullback. We're already pulling back. So now you got to figure out where are we pulling back to. You got a zone here. Why? Because the market stopped here, turned around, so that's a zone. So we can pull back to there. We can pull back to here. <clears throat> but the best entry, of course, is at the bottom. Okay? If you miss the bottom and it's already pushing up, wait till a candle closes above the middle of the Keltner and then hop in for one to two minutes up, right? And that's it. That's it, man. And that's all she wrote. You can do that on OTC. You can do that on whatever you want to do it on, all right? So if you don't if you don't catch this entry at the bottom, right, or one of these zones that it might hit, if you don't catch this entry, wait till the candle closes above the middle of the Keltner channel and then ride that thing back up to the moon because we're on the uptrend, all right? So that's what you do. And you can do that on every single pair, all right? I'm telling you, your win rate going to go up. I assure you of that. I assure you. All right, so what do we do with something like this? All right, of course, you know, I got the zones marked up. Hitting the H1 zone. Now, since this, since this is trending down, right, it's trending down. The best place to get in, wait on the pullback, 
hop in on a cell, and then come down, come down here. All right. And remember that this uh <clears throat> this twenty, this middle of the Keltner, is gonna act as a, a resistance zone. So as long as we stay below this, we know the market's gonna go back down. But the moment we start closing above the twenty, or the middle of the Keltner, and we know we potentially heading back to that side. All right. But that's today's video, man. Hopefully it helped you. Been a blessing to you. If you ain't live trading with us, you should. And I'll see you on another video. Let's go.